Cloiso, Cloiso, welcome, welcome to more Britain's Hidden History with me, Ross Broadstock. And thank you, Dean Morgan, for finding this uh, particular story for me. I did mention it in Sunday's show, so I come back to it when I have more time. It's from Nation Cymru website. Um, well, to be honest, they put things so well, <laughs> I don't even need to paraphrase it. I could just go through it. So, crew working on Owen Glynn Dewar Theatre production appalled by the condition of his home. I'm sure everyone knows Owen Glynn Dewar. Apart from King Arthur, probably the most famous Welsh historical character. Maybe Anthony Hopkins pushing him close these days. <laughs> anyway, crew working on a theatre production about Owen Glyn Dewar have said that they were appalled by the condition of his home. The company Theatre Maldwin, crew working on Mab Dragon, visited Sachath at the end of July to brush up on the history of the Welsh independence freedom fighter. But, writing to Golug magazine, they said that they were huge, hugely disappointed when they saw the condition of the site. This site is under the care of Cadu, but there are few signs that they are looking after it, Penry Roberts, one of the show's writers, said. The mot itself, where Glyn Dewar's halls were, described so wonderful by Yolo Gork's poem, is covered with heather and growth. What other nation would leave a site of national importance in such a state? There are two notice boards that uh, note a bit of the history of Owen Glenn Dewar's rebellion here, but seriously, imagine what decent spending on the site would create in terms of education and tourism if a dignified centre was established here. And this is the one which really strikes home with me. Compare that the money that is spent on the Norman castles in Wales with the spending of the truly Welsh monuments. And I keep going on about the biggest example being Caerphilly, where millions and millions are spent on the March of Lord Castle, which might actually be Welsh, which would be ironic. Anyway, the March of Lord Castle down in the town of Caerphilly, as opposed to the Welsh Castle up on the hill, which the access has been chained off, padlocked, you can't even get to it, and it's little more than a ruin left. Not a penny, not a penny is spent on it. Not even a little sign to say here is more great castle. Yep, anyway, so yes, Norman castles, uh, which... You could put Caerphilly into that castle, but they particularly, I think, referring to North Wales here. So you've got Harlech and Carnarvon, millions and millions spent on them again. So yes, Norman castles, which remind us daily of our humiliation as a nation. Another problem was the lack of signage directly towards uh, Sachath, Penry Pen Roberts said, saying that they followed a small, narrow road to get there without any signs of any kind. It could be any uh, historical site in South Wales as well. Why? Does Cadu, who, whoever is responsible, want to keep the site a secret, he asked. I share your pain, brother. Cadu told Golug in response that although a registered monument, which means you can't do anything to it, by the way, because it will be scheduled, very difficult for you to do anything or do it up or touch anything. I had the people who organised the event in Whitland a couple of weeks ago who said they couldn't even move um, the posts of a wooden fence because Cadu wouldn't let them on a field. I'll straight up against Anyway, so um, uh, it's, a, it's the prop, private property of the Clan Gedwin estate, but they won't be allowed to do much. Well, they can't do anything without Cadu's oversight and permission. It's a cash 22. Uh, you can't touch it yourself, and you can't get Cadu to do it either. What do you do? Anyway, because of that, the owner's, the owner's responsible for maintaining the site. In recognition of the significance of Sakath, in 2010-11, Cadu invested heavily in the monument. Monument. Not the not the site. Together with the Owen Glyn Dewar Mott and Moat site in Glyn Dunfordwy. Well, they're saying, yeah, it's not... Whatever you spent, I haven't been done, hasn't spent very well. Anyway, so what do they do? This included formalising existing public access to the site with Clan Gedwin Estate, creating a car park. I'll have to have a look, see if that's free. <laughs> Including a, a translation and protecting the earthworks which were waterlogged and had been eroded by cattle. Although the monument itself remains in good condition, we recognise that the car park and access routes, routes now need to be improved. We are working with the Clan Gedwin estate to achieve this. Cadu, I love this bit. Cadu will fund a new and improved style. A style, in case you're not aware of it. If you have a fence, you put a bit of wood across and maybe another one so you can get over the fence. It's like a step. We're going to put a better style in. And refurbish the car park. Resurface the car park, put some tarmac down, put a new step to get over the fence. Jobs are good, eh? 
Well done, Cadu. Bang on the case again. <laughs> and if anyone knows anything more about Clank Edwin Estate and who it is, who those people are who own the site, I would love to know and find out who they are and see if we can offer any help. So, thank you for that article. And well done. Uh, I'll have to read this paper. I never actually read it. What's it called? Uh, Nation Cymru. So, till the next time, my very best wishes for me. Peace. Heddwch.